Hi, I'm Scott Davis, and welcome to New World Birth. By Axis in this presentation, you're inviting me to share this information regarding our passes through this challenging and yet very hopeful time we're currently living in. And this is the care and feeding of a New World Age report for the Gregorian date of November 24th, 2011, which is one deer in the Mayan Zol King calendar. And we'll also discuss Mercury turning retrograde and the Sagittarius New Moon solar eclipse. November 24th is one deer which carries the themes of service, healing, protection, sacrifice, intuitive and instinctual knowledge, the four directions, shamanic energy, ritual dance, dignity, respect, and breaking free of limitations. The ritual deer dance symbolizes the sanctity and balance between the people and nature. The energy of deer is to rise up above the limitations of living life only on the physical plane. This is a time to connect with spirituality through ceremony, dance, ritual, and being in nature. It's also a time to find strength to break free of anything limiting spiritual growth and healing. Astrologically, the one deer tracenter, a 13 day period, begins with Mercury reaching 20 degrees of Sagittarius and then appearing to stop as it moves it then in reverse direction. And Mercury will be retrograde until December 13th, during which time we should expect difficulties in the areas of communication, technology, and travel. As I mentioned in the last report, we've just completed this first stage of gathering information about an area of our life that we need to make a change in. And then on the 24th, we begin the second stage uh, where we experience events that point to a part of our lives that's up for review and revision. We also have on that day uh, Venus harmonizing with Neptune which stimulates creative and romantic imagination on one deer, which is unity experienced through service. On the 25th, uh, the Zol King uh, day is two star, which is duality experienced through abundant relationships. And that day also has the Sagittarius new moon and solar eclipse. I think it's interesting that the new moon will occur within one degree of the location where a Mercury will turn to turn direct. So this will be a pivotal time with events that will shift us to move in an expansive new direction with confidence. November 26th is three offering, which is taking action to show appreciation. And with Venus moving into Capricorn, uh, this might bring caution to our, our romantic relationships. Um, and then uh, on that same day, Venus is challenged by Uranus, which may bring some unusual events to our social interactions. On the 27th, we have Four Dog, which is stability through being with family and friends, with Venus being supported by Jupiter, which is uh, very pleasant for social interactions. Uh, November 28th is Five Monkey, which is being empowered in new beginnings with the moon being challenged by Saturn, which may uh, bring some lonely feelings at some point during that day. Uh, the 29th is Six Road, which is being in the flow through being in service to others. The moon moves into Aquarius and is stimulated by Uranus and the sun and challenged by Jupiter, which may be a day of emotional ups and downs. November 30th, is seven read which is reflection on having a harmonious home life and with the moon being stimulated by venus this brings the desire to be with friends and the people you love december begins with eight jaguar which is finding balance by being in nature with and on that day venus is merging with pluto which may be bring some unsta unstable relationships to an end uh, the day may also involve being contacted by former romantic partners, uh, which is common whenever you have Venus and Pluto interacting. Uh, December 2nd is Nine Eagle, which is patience 
while observing a situation from a higher perspective. With the sun being challenged by Mars, it's a day to watch out for conflicts between egos. The third is Ten Wisdom, which is manifestation through aligning ancient knowledge with the moon merging with Uranus, which may bring sudden insights to our emotional relationships. December 4th is Eleven Earth, which is about finding resolution through appreciating Mother Nature. Uh, with the sun merging with Mercury, uh, this brings light to the new information that we're getting uh, in our cosmic course correction. And on that day, Mercury also squares Mars, which could bring some irritability to our communications. The fifth is 12 Flint, which is understanding found in reflection with Venus being supported by Mars which could bring the ability to assert oneself without offending others and it's also a day where that energy brings a boost to the sex drive. Uh, December 6th is 13th Storm which is about moving to the next level by recognizing the gifts and adversity with the moon being opposed by Saturn and in harmony with Neptune and merging with Jupiter and supported by Pluto this is a day of shifting emotions, but most of it is very positive. Um, I want to start to discuss in this next section uh, uh, by saying that I've been a great supporter of the research of Carl Johan Kalman uh, regarding the Mayan Tune calendar and its completion on October 28, 2011. So I was confused when I read his most recent article entitled uh, the ninth wave continues after October 28, 2011, and that article was dated uh, November 18, 2011. In the article, Dr. Kalman stated that because he and others he consulted are not experiencing time as moving moment by moment by moment, that the tune calendar is continuing, and that all the nine levels have entered into a new and never discovered uh, uh, seventh night cycle on uh, October 29th, 2011. I find this concerning because up to this point Dr. Kalman's work has always been based on meticulous research but this latest statement appears to be an opinion that he has and he doesn't give any references to uh, data based on Mayan cosmology. And this change in description of the tune calendar would represent that time is, uh, changes from moving from a fractal spiral prior to October 28th to a continuous linear pattern after the 28th. Um, I believe that the consciousness of each level of the Mayan tune calendar becomes more and more subtle as we move from the first level uh, that began with the Big Bang up to the ninth level that began on March 9th, 2011. And as a sensitive individual living in nature with very few distractions such as media, um, I, I have no longer felt the intense frequency of the Tune Calendar's acceleration of evolution since October 28, 2011. For these reasons, I will not be uh, including this new open-ended tune calendar description uh, from the article in my reports. Uh, since uh, his update is based on his feelings and the feelings of, of some of his uh, sensitive uh, uh, people he consulted and not really, uh, uh, he didn't really give any data to, to, to back up why the tune calendar would continue and uh, energetically I just really don't feel it continuing uh, but I would encourage you to make a determination for yourself you know you are in charge of your own certainty and so that's what's really important you know whether the tune calendar continues or has been completed that's something that you can decide for yourself by really just feeling that energy and feeling whether you feel that there's sort of this uh, intensity of frequency continuing or do you feel a sense of peace and calm 
that that uh, is what I felt ever since uh, the 29th of October. So take time to be in the flow with the planet by being in, ma in nature, watching the sunrise or sunsets, communing with the stars, being conscious of the moment through introspection or meditation. Uh, every day is a blessing, no matter what dramas beckon us, uh, beckon to distract us. We're all giving the performance of our lifetime on this, this stage of life. And just take some time also to observe the play as well as act your part. Remember that you are a spiritual being having a human experience. I want to thank you for checking out New World Birth. The next segment of Care and Feeding of a New World Age uh, will be on December 7th for one a how for one sun the gemini full moon the lunar eclipse and both mercury and uranus turning direct um, you can check us out on the facebook page or the youtube page um, i invite you to email me at newworldbirth at yahoo.com uh, if you have any questions about what i'm talking about in this report or if you'd like to schedule a reading with me uh, from human design or astrology or the Mayan Zol King or the Tarot. Um, anyway, as always, it truly is a blessing for me that you've taken the time to connect with this information that I'm putting out in these reports. And as always, the light in me honors the light in you. Namaste.